By now, you've probably seen contains a bioengineered food ingredient on the packaging of processed food, so let's break down what it means. As defined by the USDA's Agricultural Marketing Service, the disclosure means the food contains genetic material that has been modified through lab techniques not attainable in nature. While you may not be familiar with the phrase bioengineered food ingredient, it is the same thing as a genetically modified organism or GMO. Starting January 1st of 2022, food manufacturers were required to disclose when they used an ingredient from a crop that was genetically engineered by including one of the following four disclosures. The text disclosure, which appears to be the most common, reads contains a bioengineered food ingredient. The symbol disclosure is the one you see here on the screen. The electronic disclosure must include a statement such as scan here for more food information and then link to a page with the disclosure. The text message disclosure must include the statement text command word to number for bioengineered food information. While large food manufacturers must comply, foods sold or made in restaurants, food trucks, trains, airplanes, delis, and other food aside establishments are not required to make the disclosure. While there isn't a requirement, food companies have the option to voluntarily disclose if they use refined ingredients that come from a genetically engineered source under the 5% detectability threshold. The disclosure would be labeled as derived from bioengineering or ingredients derived from a bioengineered source on the label. This is a full list of all the crops that can be genetically engineered for you to screenshot and save for later. As of 2020, around 94% of soybeans, 92% of corn, 96% of cotton, and 95% of canola are GMO. Common bioengineered food ingredients according to the FDA include corn starch, corn syrup, corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil, or granulated sugar. Examples of popular foods with genetically engineered ingredients include Doritos, Cape Cod jalapeno chips, Lucky Charms, Impossible Foods, Oreos, Campbell's Soup, Honey Made Graham Crackers, and Honey Nut Cheerios. Crops are usually genetically modified to make them more resistant to herbicides, control weeds, and protect them from pests. Four agrochemical giants that control crop bioengineering in turn control the majority of seed supply and pesticide production. The long-standing concern is that the FDA does not test whether genetically engineered crops are safe and also does not require independent pre-market safety review testing. The agrochemical giants submit their own industry-funded testing during the voluntary communications with the FDA. Bioengineered crops reduce biodiversity in the soil, guarantee synthetic pesticides are used, allow corporations to patent food, force farmers to become tenants on their own land, and threaten native and heirloom varieties. The most common justification you hear for GMO is that they are more sustainable and will help feed world populations. Bayer and the other agrochemical giants that control seed breeding pay for these ideas to be circulated in higher education. Don't be fooled though, the worst thing for food security and sustainability is food patenting and centralization. The real solution is to localize our food systems. And if you want a summarized write-up of this, you can find it under the blog on my website, myhealthforward.com, which I've linked in my bio. You can file a complaint on the USDA's AMS website if you believe a food product with bioengineered ingredients doesn't have a disclosure.